Hello and welcome to God's Minute. I'm Pastor Jonathan Conrad. I'm the senior pastor at St. Paul's Lutheran Church in Wilmington, North Carolina. And this week, we continue our study of Acts with a series called As the Saul Turns that focuses on the conversion of Saul. And today's passage has me thinking about the Wisdom Salem Industries for the Blind. So let's get to it. But get up and enter the city and you will be told what you are to do. The men who were traveling with him stood speechless because they heard the voice but saw no one. Saul got up from the ground, and though his eyes were open, he could see nothing. So they led him by the hand and brought him into Damascus. For three days he was without sight and neither ate nor drank. Back in my hometown of Winston-Salem, there is a wonderful organization called Industries for the Blind, IFB Solutions. IFB was founded in the late 1930s during a time when visual impairment practically assured unemployment. IFB's first workers united to manufacture mattresses, brooms, and caned chairs. Today, IFB Solutions is the largest employer of people who are blind or visually impaired in the United States, a group with a near 70% unemployment rate. And I am proud to say that my sister worked for IFB, and it was through her that I first heard about the organization. One could say that IFB had its start with our passage today. Saul has been blinded and now needs the help of his traveling companions to get to Damascus. Saul is so distraught that he can't eat or drink. But Saul is not alone. He did have companions traveling with him, and they led him to Damascus. I like how our passage says they led him by the hand. So as Saul struggles with his blindness, he knows that he is not alone. Instead of being lost and left to fend on his own, Saul is protected and cared for by his companions. Saul may not see it, but he feels the presence of God. There are times in our lives where we too are blind and cannot see God. It often happens when we are at the end of our rope, when sadness or depression overwhelm us. When those events happen, it is hard to see God. It is very hard. And that is why God is more than just a God we can see. God is a God we can hear in the voice of a loved one calling to check on us. God is a God who we can taste in the meal prepared by a loved one or a concerned neighbor or Holy Communion. God is a God we can smell in the aroma of fresh flowers or a fresh cut lawn or in the perfume of your spouse or significant other. God is a God we can touch in the holding of the hand, the leaning on of the shoulder. Even when we don't see God, God sees us. God loves us and God protects us and goes along our journey with us. God is a God who will never lead. And that will do it for me today. Thank you for watching. I will be back tomorrow with another edition of God's Minute. Until then, you take care and God bless. Come worship with us at St. Paul's Lutheran Church every Sunday. If you are in the Wilmington area, please worship with us at our 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. indoor services. Holy Communion is served at each service. Gluten-free wafers and grape juice are available if you need those items. And if you are fully vaccinated, masks are optional. If you feel more comfortable wearing a mask, you are very welcome to do so. If you are not fully vaccinated, masks are required. If you are in need of Holy Communion, come by between 12.15 and 12.45 p.m. when we offer our drive through communion, where you can receive the sacrament, pick up a devotional, and our weekly newsletter. Gluten-free wafers and grape juice are available if you need those items. We invite you to support St. Paul's and our ministries through financial giving. You can give in several ways, online, text, check, cash, and drafting from your bank account. Your financial support helps bring God's grace to all. And at St. Paul's Lutheran Church, all means all.